Hey folks, Jerome Forcewood here. It's 12.57pm on April 20th, 2024 in East Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 19 degrees outside on a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 2.6 kilometers, starting in Kensington Cedar Cottage at Trout Lake Park, then stroll north on Lakewood, northwest on North Grandview, north on Commercial, ending my trek in Grandview Woodland by the transit bus stop at Commercial and Venables. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forrestwood here. Just walking on Lakewood Drive. Over here, just finished a, a video for you at the Trout Lake Farmer's Market. Let's go see what the rest of Vancouver looks like today. We are over here in East Vancouver. And over here, we're technically in the Kensington Cedar Cottage neighborhood. But we're close to the border with the Ramby Woodland neighborhood. So let's head on over to the Ramby Woodland neighborhood and we'll see what the drive's like right now. And check it out. A lot of people still going to the farmer's market right now. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. We'll cross the street here. We're crossing a liquid drive. Yeah, hit the light here. This would be Lakewood and East 12th Ave. <laughs> Part of this is a blend into the South Grandview Highway. Too. So you'll hear that from time to time. I'll head on up here. Here are these colorful houses, the, the, the Lakewood Terrace Community or Co-op Housing, Cooperative Housing. Now we'll continue up the Lakewood Drive. <laughs> All right, now we're going over the CN Rail railway tracks as well as the Millennium Line Skytrain tracks. See those right here? Now, 
keep walking here. Over here, this is the Central Valley Greenway that runs parallel to the North Grandview Highway. It's not really much a highway anymore, but it's just a road or a street. But at one point in time, it was a highway. And there's a south one too. We'll keep a walking here. And this is where East 10th Ave meets with the Grandview Highway, the North Grandview Highway. See some of our the trees are started to bloom over here. These are more yellow greenish flowers. And these trees here. And we'll keep walking here along the Central Valley Greenway. That's where the North Grandview Highway ends. And the big road that you see there, that in front of us. This road here is a bike path. And this is the walking path right here. So cool, eh? And none of this is like a densely populated, like a bigger city. Like Toronto, or Montreal, or even Edmonton. Vancouver really is a big city on the west coast. But it's really, it's a major city but it really is much, much smaller. It's like a, a second tier class city with first tier class status because it's just that far away on the West Coast. And, but compared to other cities, over here we have 675,000 people, so we're not even up to a million over here. <laughs> well, the car that was playing the rap music had uh, an East Van Cross in it. <laughs> That's so East Vancouver. Here's our Buddhist, Buddhist temple in the area. Tung Ling Ko Yuan, Canadian Society, Buddhist. Monastery. Oh no, they actually call it a temple. Oh cool. Sometimes they don't call it a temple. This one they do. Very cool. 
they do have tours of it, but you gotta check in advance to see when they are open. <laughs> if you wanna go in and see what it's all about. I'll keep walking. We're now walking along the Grandview Highway, the North Grandview Highway. But over here, this part of the North Grandview Highway is just a bike lane. And there is a little street laneway on the other side for buses and stuff. And the 99 bus, UBC Beeline bus, well, after it's done its commercial Broadway route, I usually park over here. Oh, and there's one right there, just coming away from its sleep. And it'll loop around to East Broadway there. Yeah, so there's one of the 99 UBC Beeline buses. Headed on out. Empty right now, but it'll be filled up in a few minutes. There's another one just waiting down there. Gives the drivers a few minutes to go to the washroom. They got a little washroom station there for drivers with keys. And there's the SkyTrain. That'd be the Expo line. You can go on in and they can have a pee. Point. And over here, we're at the drive. Here's the drive. We're at the back of uh, St. Augustine's right now. It's one of our local bars. This will be busy tonight. It's got some people in it already enjoying themselves. That's pretty awesome. Sometimes sunny and sometimes cloudy. <laughs> Otherwise known as partly cloudy. <laughs> Where's the Hare Krishna guy? He's not here today. Usually a guy back there singing Hare Krishna. Passing the bee house, local steak shop in the neighborhood. They do other things too, including brunch. Now we'll keep walking here on the drive. A lot of people today will be coming up to the drive to go shopping or stop at a cafe, see some friends. A mix of that different type of stuff especially on their way over to the farmer's market. Yeah. Looks like, all right, we got a green light. Oh, we got to wait. We got a yellow light now. <laughs> This will be the intersection of commercial 
and east 6th. You can see the trees are in full bloom over here now. Or at least uh, full bloom with their leaves. Absolutely beautiful, except for that one tree back there. It looks like it's only getting started. Needs a little more sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Kelowna passed there. <laughs> There's a, a mix of interesting people in this neighborhood. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. A lot of creatives will come to this neighborhood. We've got a lot of different industrial arts as well as just a working class folk. So one time was strictly a working class neighborhood. And it has now changed. There's both working class and affluent people in this area. And because of its eclectic mix, it's voted as one of the coolest streets in all of the world. <laughs> By a popular travel magazine. So of course all the local blogs and newspapers <laughs> picked up on that. They're like, come to the drag, drive. One of the coolest streets in the world. <laughs> Gives me something to talk about. So yeah, if you want more detail than I'm able to show you on the video, come on down here. Spend some money. These businesses would love your money and they'll show you a good time. in here. The Prado Cafe over here. Very popular place. And then there's a Mojo's that's on the other side, the north side of the drive a retail strip. I'm gonna keep walking here. And we are having a very rare Toronto Maple Leaf sighting. <laughs> Somebody wearing a Toronto Maple Leaf jersey, wow. <laughs> Normally it's the Canucks over here. <laughs> you know, I'll keep walking here. Commercial Drive is also called Little Italy. Back during the 20th century, this is where a lot of the Italian diaspora, as well as other European folks, but predominantly the Italian diaspora, decided to settle if they chose to immigrate to Canada. At least here in Vancouver. 
Sky Crane accessible. Looks like they got a little garage sale going on over there. <laughs> We'll keep walking here on the drive. <laughs> Hold on here. Just waiting. <laughs> Little girls carrying around some tiny, tiny puppies. In there. Or they might have been gerbils actually. <laughs> Hard to tell. You will see that in Vancouver, including people walking their cats on leashes. I find that fascinating. <laughs> I wonder what the cats are thinking. <laughs> and uh, this would be a commercial drive in East First Ave. I think it's our turn, so we'll cross. And we'll keep walking here. First time since we did. Passing by one of the local produce markets here, you can see inside here. Okay. It's also a great place to come to uh, find some sauces that you might not be able to find elsewhere in the city. Well, these produce markets are run by people of different ethnicities and they uh, usually carry a variety of different sauces, both to serve the local community as well as their community as well. Over here is the old Norman's grocery store. It was a nice old produce store. It closed down. Very unfortunate. And we're crossing Gravely Street. And we'll continue north on the drive here. Oh no, it looks like two more restaurants. Dulce Amore just opened up. It's closed down. What? Oh man, all I can say folks, you know what I mean when I say it. Sign of the times, sign of the times. Dulce Amore just opened up and now it's got his door boarded up. What the heck? Hopefully, and they're still open, but right now it looks like they're closed. Oh man, they would be open right now if they were open. And it's the warmer weather now, and the auto shop's closed, huh? On a Saturday, with the market on, not a good sign. Not a good sign. Of course, if you want to know. <laughs> what us Canadians are facing here in Canada right now. Canada's going through a little bit of growing pains right now. Both here in Vancouver and across the country. You can check that out in any of our local newspapers and our national newspapers as well. <laughs> but that's up to you. I would just recommend if you do go to the papers, Read a bunch of them. See the spectrum of news sources, or you can check out the ground news. They do a very good job. They'll show you a news story, and then they'll show you how it's written from uh, 
the left wing side to the right wing side. Here's Harbor's Oyster Bar. You can see they're busy right now. Happy hour is almost upon us. Two to five is technically happy hour. Sometimes we'll have happy hour from three to five. And sometimes it'll go all the way to six, depending on the business. So if you are over here on the drive, and even if you're here during non-happy hours, sometimes they have late night happy hours as well, from like eight to 10. So just go around and ask, check it out. Over here is Memphis Blues. I remember coming here a long time ago. These guys do a great job. They're full. Such good food in there. I like their brisket. <laughs> so I normally get their brisket plates. Keep a block in here. Along the drive. up here. <laughs> Look at all the cherry trees on this street right here. <laughs> and the petals are just starting to come off. I <laughs> saw <laughs> I'll keep a walk in here along Commercial Drive, also known as the Drive, and Little Italy. Here is uh, the Havana, their local Cuban Focus Club. They do a pretty good job. And you can see, obviously, people are coming out to check them out. Thank you for walking here. And over here, this is your Joe's Continental Cafe and Bar. It's your working class bar. This is also where you find a lot of people come so that they can congregate and acclimatize to the community. A lot of immigrants will come through that bar there. You got some good deals in there. I'm keep a walk in here. We're almost over at Mojo's. Right across the street, you'll see the lunch lady. A series of restaurants all the way over there, and the Lotus House too. That's our local tattoo studio. Yeah, a barber in there as well. Here's a Moja. <laughs> I say Mojo all the time. But it's Moja Coffee. You can see it's another one of the popular cafes in the area. People are already sitting outside enjoying the outside. Oh, it looks like we can cross, so we'll cross uh, Napier here and continue. You can see there's lots of people in the patio out here. <laughs> Line inside, wow. Lunch lady work. Let's keep walking here.
And you got Bombay Kitchen and Bar. You got other Bombay Kitchen and Bars around Vancouver, including on Denman Street. So definitely something to keep an eye out for. Just a flood of cherry <laughs> tree petals over here. Wow, look at this street. Look, it's just covered in cherry tree petals. <laughs> it's like it's snowing. Very pretty. <laughs> snowing pink and cherry tree petals. <laughs> And we're in Venable Street, we'll cross Venables because we can't. And we'll finish up over at the bus stop there for you. So anyways, folks, thanks for coming along and just remember to uh, share, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> no payment entertainment. Sure. <laughs> Have a good day.